Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another love compatibility tarot read. <laughs> I feel like that's a mouthful to get my mouth around. <laughs> um, in this reading today, we're going to take a look at the dynamic between Capricorn and Leo. Do keep in mind everybody, this is a general reading, so I always advise just to take what you need from this and leave what doesn't apply. Should you feel that you're connecting to this reading, then be sure to show your support. The best way you can do that, Capricorn and Leo, is to like, share and subscribe. But otherwise, let's dive on in. We're going to get an overall energy for Capricorn and an overall energy for Leo. So spirit angels and guides, please show us the overarching energy for Capricorn dealing with Leo in love. What is the overarching energy? Okay, so Capricorn, you're coming through as the eagle. <clears throat> okay, spirit angels and guides, please show us the overarching energy of Leo dealing with Capricorn. Spirit angel, angels and guides, please show us the overarching energy of Leo dealing with Capricorn. Okay, so Leo, you're coming through as the tarantula. Okay, let's start with Capricorn. Capricorn, you're coming through as the eagle. So you definitely have your sight set out for Leo. Okay, you're facing Leo. You're looking at Leo. You see Leo being someone that you want to do life with. You see them in your future. You have future visions of Leo um, being by your side and building a life with this, building a life with them. Okay. Now, Leo, you are showing up as the tarantula. And I feel... In this, in this particular deck, Leo, the tarantula is known to be a character that is at some kind of a crossroad. So you're at some kind of a crossroad regarding Capricorn. So I feel, Leo, you, you may be attracted to your Capricorn, okay? You may be physically attracted. You, the chemistry may be there. But I'm sort of sensing here, Leo, you're at this crossroad of whether or not you want to take this further or you're just happy to kind of be wherever you're at with your Capricorn right now. So you're like, do I, okay, do I go down this path of building a life with Capricorn or am I happy just to kind of just cruise and see where this is going or it could be it's either you are looking at this and thinking do I want to commit or do I want to stay a bachelor or a bachelorette that's kind of how I'm viewing it Leo <clears throat> Yeah, I see the golden egg as this is hang on Leo. So sorry Leo. I'm just I'm getting so many messages coming in and I'm like, oh look, which one is it? Which message is it, right? <clears throat> I'm seeing this as settling down. You're at some kind of a crossroad and one of the questions you're asking yourself, Leo, is are you ready to settle down with Capricorn? Are you ready to build 
a life and a family and a legacy with Capricorn. So this is this is the crossroad that you are at. Let's take these down here and we're going to expand on this, okay? So it's a bit hard to know without seeing the other tarot cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand on this. So Capricorn, let's take a look at Capricorn's energy. So Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the energy of Capricorn and how Capricorn is feeling in regards to Leo in the upcoming days and weeks. First card coming through is the Two of Swords. Ah, Ace of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Okay, so you're looking at your Leo. There's your Leo. You're viewing your Leo as someone who is being very indecisive right now, is in two minds about this connection <clears throat> you may be you may be feeling like your leo has turned their back on you capricorn or is showing very little interest in you right now yeah you're feeling like you don't know where this is going to go Two of Swords is, this is indecisive energy about the future. And you are feeling Capricorn, you don't know. You don't know where this is leading. You don't know where this is going. You may be feeling, you're feeling like your Leo is being distant with you right now. You may feel that your Leo has popped out of your life. But I feel, why do I get the sense with the eagle that I feel like Capricorn, you're doing the chasing. You're doing the chasing. So let's expand on these two of swords. Yeah. Yeah, you, you may feel that you're not in communication with Leo or Leo is not wanting to talk to you or discuss this relationship. You may be feeling like you and your Leo want two different things right now. But it, it, it's hard to have a relationship with someone who's not willing to talk it out or who is maybe distant with you. Let's expand on this Ace of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> the Moon card. The more Leo is being distant with you, Capricorn, the more you are chasing them. I'm seeing the Moon as some... It's, this card here is heightening the energy of the Ace of Wands. So it's like the more distant Leo is with you, the more that you seem to be chasing them or seeking them. Okay, because you feel right now that you're being left in the dark. Yeah, you're, you're feeling like you're being left in the dark. You don't know how... Um, Leo feels or, or what it is that they want and you're being left in the dark let's expand on this Knight of Wands in reverse three of cups reverse yeah you don't want anything casual you want something serious you're ready to take this from friend zone or friendship or casually seeing each other to something more serious let's take a look at Leo Spirit Angels and Guides, please show us the energy of Leo and how Leo is feeling towards Capricorn in the upcoming days and week. Page of Wands. The World in Reverse. The 
Queen of Swords. <clears throat> okay, Leo, so with the Page of Wands, you clearly recognize here that you need to talk about the future. The Page of Wands, he is someone who is sort of, you know, getting excited about his future. He, he's a visionary. But you are sensing here that you need to talk about the future and where it's going. But it's kind of like, this. you know, Leo, that Capricorn's waiting for you to reach out. And I feel like the, the ball is in your court because you've got the page of wands. You're, you've got the messenger card. So you've got a message to deliver and Capricorn is waiting. And not only that, Queen of Swords, you've got the Queen of Swords. So this communication has to come from you. But why do I feel like with the world in reverse, you don't want to have this conversation? I feel like on some level, you're not ready to have this conversation because you're not ready to close out this connection. You're not ready for this relationship with Capricorn to be over. But you also know here with the Queen of Swords that you have to you have to clear the air and you have to do the right thing. So let's expand on this page of wands. Ooh. <laughs> You're all over the place. <laughs> Leo is all over the place. Okay, that was not meant to happen. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's start that again. Okay, let's expand on this page of wands. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. So you have a beautiful connection to Capricorn. But you definitely have a decision and a choice to make here. You have a choice to make here. Okay, the lovers represents choices. The choice you've got, Leo, is whether or not to continue to pursue this relationship or do you back out. So I feel like Capricorn's waiting from a message from you regarding where this is going, where this relationship is going. Do you still want to be with them or do you not want to be with them? Okay, let's expand on this world card. Oh my God, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Yeah, you're definitely not ready to close out the cycle with Capricorn. You, you're, you don't want to close out this relationship just yet. You want to keep the door open. Leo wants to keep the door open. Yeah, there, there you are, Leo. There's the strength card. So you're resisting. You're resisting an ending here. You're resisting an ending. Can we find out why Leo is resisting an ending? Sorry, guys. I just, I need to do this. Why is Leo resisting this ending? Why is... Because it's not clear. Oh, my God. The two of wands. There's the crossroad energy.
You, Leo's just not ready to move on just yet. You've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Leo. So for some reason, you feel like it's not worth investing any more energy into this. But maybe you're... The Two of Wands can speak to travel. So Leo, you may be moving away. You may be moving away. You may be looking to travel or to relocate. It could be a matter of distance here. And so you're looking at this, well, there's no point investing too much more or getting serious about this relationship because you're making plans to leave. But maybe it's just not the right time to leave. The Empress. The Page of Cups. Okay, I have to I have to be honest and I have to be real. Okay, Leo is waiting for someone better to come along. Leo either Leo is waiting for someone better to come along or Leo knows that they deserve more or they deserve better. Leo, you do have, you do like Capricorn, okay? Um, but I feel Leo's feelings for Capricorn are not strong enough. This is like a young love, a young love, or... Emotionally unavailable. Let's expand on the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Yeah, you, you don't want to be tied down just yet. Leo does not want to... That's what I'm sensing, Leo. If, if this is not your reading, Leo, then maybe it's this is not for you. Okay? It's as simple as that. But I'm feeling like... I'm feeling Leo doesn't want to be tied down. Leo, you could be you could be in a cycle or a stage of your life where you're building something for yourself. You know, the Empress is an energy of someone who is abundant. So you're trying to create abundance for yourself. Even with the golden egg, I see this as maybe success for you. So you're trying to build some kind of a successful life or career for yourself and you're not ready to settle down. You're not ready to be tied down here. Yeah, you're not ready to commit because you're chasing, you're chasing financial security. You're chasing success here. That's what it is. That's what it is. Like I feel Capricorn is ready to take things to the next level. Let's, um, you know what, let's grab some Romance Angels Oracle cards. Sometimes I feel like, you know what, I hope this is making sense. Please let me know in the comment section below if it, if it makes sense to you because sometimes when I'm doing a reading, I have no idea what's coming out of my mouth. New love. new love maybe you've just met each other maybe it's still in its infancy stages okay um a new person has stirred your romantic feelings maybe for leo maybe leo someone else has um caught your attention and that's why leo is at this crossroad
Capricorn, maybe there's a, a new love out there for you. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So I have to say here, I'm feeling like one of you, one of you is feeling like the other one truly isn't their soulmate. Okay, if you were to get really honest with yourselves, you'll know who you are. This could just be a temporary relationship or a temporary connection before the serious relationship. That's what I'm sensing here, before the serious relationship. Let me just grab another one. Yeah, very soon. Very soon. I feel this, this relationship that you're both in, I feel it's a stepping stone to the person that you are meant to settle down with or you're meant to build a life with. Let's just grab an a archetype card. The gem. Yeah, the gem is, I, I don't feel either of you have found the one. I, I don't feel you're the one in each other's eyes. I still feel that the, the right person for you both is still out there. And it's a stepping stone from this connection. So they're your messages, guys. I hope this resonated. Please let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.